How much money can I make vintage reselling in one hour? Vintage reselling has blown up over the past couple months with some people claiming they're making hundreds a week from buying on Vinted and reselling also on Vinted. But we do have one problem. I know nothing about vintage reselling. So let's start off. I started off by researching firstly what is vintage reselling, secondly what items I should be looking at, but also the most important part, how do you actually cop so many items on Vinted? And well, it didn't take long to finally find out how people are buying so much. Essentially, people are using vintage monitors. Essentially, what a vintage monitor does is it notifies you for any new listings on vintage. So people will have their own filters, for example, Supreme t-shirts for under £15. They set up this monitor so they get notified whenever something is listed on vintage for under £15. Now, there are a couple vintage monitors on the market that you can pay for, but I own a sneaker cook group and I'm quite experienced with the whole sneaker monitor so getting my own vintage monitor can't be that hard so I spent the next week finding and creating our own custom vintage monitor because I didn't want to have to go off other people's filters I wanted to make my own so after some thorough testing and a lot of bug errors we finally had our fully functional vintage monitor so the next thing I did is what to buy now a lot of people make a lot of money off Ralph Lauren items such as the knits polo shirts puffer jackets and so much more but for me starting I don't really know how to legit check Ralph Lauren. Something I am very confident and knowledgeable on is streetwear brands such as Supreme, Cortez, Palace, Stussy, all of these sorts of brands. I've dealt with a lot of these before so why not use my knowledge from that to use for vintage reselling. So I created multiple channels for myself. I had one channel showing all the t-shirts from Supreme, Stussy and Palace and also Cortez. I set the filter to show only items that are under £15. That meant when anything met these filters I was notified directly on my phone so I could purchase. Next up I also set one up for Ralph Lauren knits. Now I know you're probably thinking I just said I don't know anything about Ralph Lauren but I know how much you can sell them for so I decided to just set them up for below £25. I also set some other ones like puffer jackets, some random pairs of shoes and so on. My main focus was the streetwear brands. This is where our hour is going to begin. Now what's great about this is I can actually go about my day and just pay attention to notifications on my phone. I decided to wait to the evening on a Sunday to spend this one hour sourcing vinted items. This is when I kind of assume everyone's going to be listing new stuff on in the evening and also a Sunday. So I got comfy, set my phone on notifications and this is what I got within one hour. We managed to pick up five different items. We picked up this Stussy blue t-shirt, a black ladybird Stussy t-shirt, a plain black eight ball Stussy t-shirt, a yellow Stussy t-shirt and also a Stone Island red polo shirt. All of these items for below £20, with one only costing £7, by the way. There were a load more popping up on the Vinted monitor. However, I don't want to chuck hundreds of pounds into something new yet. I'd rather see if it works. If I see profit from this experiment, I'll then buy more in the future. So let's wait a couple of days, wait for them to be delivered so we can do our authenticity checks. All right, now it's the big day. We've got all the packages. Now we need to legit check them. And we might have a big problem because if one of these is fake, it's gonna be a hassle. So I unpackaged all of these deliveries and got through to checking. I checked the things like the size label, the small details, the quality, and just general quality control of the t-shirts. Everything looked good to me, but what I also did is I got one of my friends to also check these who also spend a lot of time and their job is reselling of these brands. So they're very knowledgeable. And thank Hopefully I got the heads up. We also found out it wouldn't have been the end of the world if they were not legit. Because Vinted actually give you two days to say if there's any problems with your item and if it's not legit then they'll simply give you a return label and you return it and you get your money back. Kind of like a win-win situation. Alright so now we need to get to listing these t-shirts and this is where you're going to be able to make profit because we need to take some good quality photos with good descriptions and titles, make our item stand out for the rest and therefore sell it for a profit. So I decided to invest in my own steamer because I am not ironing. I've never ironed in my life. So I bought this portable steamer, laid out all the clothes and it worked an absolute dream. Getting rid of all the creases within the shirts and then the next step was simply just finding a nice backdrop to take the nice photos. Within 30 minutes I had all the listings up on Vinted and Depop and I'm also going to put some on Whatnot. I'm not paid to say this by these platforms, these are just the platforms I decide to use to sell these t-shirts. As I said, remember guys, a load of stuff popped up in this hour but I only decided to buy five items. But I also gave this Vinted 
limited monitor access to people within Kai Kick's Apprentice, and we had one member cop over 50 items in the space of a couple days, with their estimated profit to be over £500. And that's right, if you're part of Kai Kick's Apprentice, you're not only going to get all the sneaker information, sneaker monitors, release information, bottom help, 24 7 support, you're now also going to get the Vinted Monitor. Fully custom built with all the brands you can name that we are monitoring with the price filters set. Not only that, if you wanted your own channel with your own filters, we will also help you with that. For example, if you know a low key brand and you want to be notified about all of their t shirts pop up, we will set a custom channel just for you so you get notified for every single low key brand of that t shirt is posted on Vinted. I'm also offering 50% off your first month, so it's only going to cost you £7.50 if you want the Vinted monitor. So check that top link down in the description. So after 24 hours, everything had sold apart from the Stone Island t shirt. We have had some interest for it, just no one really wants to make any offers at the moment. But remember, guys, it has only been 24 hours. But let's run through how much we made in one hour of using the Vinted monitor. So the Stussy yellow t shirt I paid a total of £17 for, and this sold for £28. Payout after all the fees and delivery. Next up, we had the blue Stussy t shirt, which we paid £11 for, and this sold for £28 as well. Payout. Stussy black t shirt we bought for £15. This only sold for £21. And finally, the Ladybird Stussy t shirt we bought for £14, and this sold for £21. This means we made a total of £41 profit in the space of one hour. Plus, we still have the Stone Island t shirt, which should be £15. Profit. Now I know £41 does not sound like much money, but remember guys, in the space of this one hour, I could have bought 30 plus items. I was just quite picky with what I went for because I'm quite inexperienced in this space. So I didn't want to chuck loads of money at it. Looking back on it, I should have bought a load more because the profit is very, very good. This £41 could have easily been £200. So the biggest question is, will I continue this side hustle? 100% and not only that, I will be scaling it a lot further. Just from this, I know from spending a couple hours a week, I can easily make a couple hundred pound profit a month extra from only using a vintage monitor, which I can be out anywhere doing. I could be shopping and get a notification on my phone for a new vintage product from the vintage monitor and buy it. Don't have to be sitting, working, doing this. Definitely a very, very good viable side income. So it is true, you can make actually thousands of pounds a month from a vintage monitor. And if you do want access, remember 50 cent off your first month, seven pounds. 50 that's all it costs to get access for this vintage monitor so that'll be top link down in the description now i hope you guys have enjoyed this video smash that like button subscribe to the channel comment down below what other videos you want to see or any other side hustles you want me to try and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out guys